Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make the lemon peel stitch and it's the stitch that I used for um, the dishcloth on my previous video and I just wanted to show you guys how to make it real quick. You will need an H hook and a worsted weight yarn. So like always we are going to start by making our slip knot and for this uh, stitch you need multiples of two plus one so i'm going to chain 30 and like always you can chain as many as you want just remember that is multiples of two plus one so for this dish cloth i did chain 30 and after i do those 30 chains i'm gonna add one additional additional chain all right so here i have my 30 chains and i'm going to do one more okay so after this step we are going to make a single crochet on our second chain from hook and it's super easy you guys you guys are gonna love this stitch after that we're going to make a double crochet on the next stitch right there and basically we're going to be alternating that all the way across on our next stitch we are going to make a single crochet and then a double crochet on that next stitch all right guys so all the way across you're going to make a single crochet then a double crochet until you reach the end of the row and in your last um, stitch you should be uh, placing a double crochet and that's how you know that you um, have the correct stitches Okay, and as you can see, here's my last stitch and I'm making a double crochet. Okay, so in the next row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to do the same step. We're going to be placing a single crochet in that first stitch right there. And then on our next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet and just like the first row you guys will be alternating those stitches until you reach the end of the row and remember if um, you're at the end of the row and your last stitch is not a double crochet you probably did something wrong so just um, make sure you um, double check your stitches okay and i'm at the end of my row and i'm going to place a double crochet and that's how i know that i did the correct stitches all the way across and that's it you guys you're just going to repeat that same step all the way across and until you have the desired length of your dishcloth so just keep going until you think that you have the uh, right length um, I stopped mine at nine inches long. I believe it was nine by nine. So it's up to you guys. And here is my dishcloth that I turned into a bunny in the previous video. So I'm just going to show you. Um, the length of it and don't mind my ends. I always hide them. You guys, I don't know if you guys hate doing weaving in your ends, but I always put it off till the end. So I just wanted to show you the stitch. It's so pretty, and I just love how easy it is to make, and it's such a beginner-friendly project. So if you're interested in how to make this stitch cloth into a bunny, I will leave a link in the top because um, I do have a video on how I did that. 
But yeah, you guys, if you like this tutorial, let me know if you want to see more stitches. Um, leave a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.